very good morning my friends how are you hope you guys are doing very well and welcome on this new educational video from extreme trader this is salah speaking so actually today i thought better than making a live trading video it's more important to explain to you how this market reacts and behaves to any support or resistance being breaking out from so i think this is very important element to understand um for example if you see the market is going against you what are the things you can expect where you can expect the next uh, reversal to occur what is the behavior of the market that is that should be actually the title of the video to understand how this market actually works so actually i just wanted to tell you here about my weekly analysis first and i wanted to share with you that thankfully all of my signals that i have sent on the weekly analysis have been in profit as we can see the pound usd has reversed exactly from the point right here i mentioned to buy from 1.3019 currently is going in almost 60 pips of profit um AUD USD has reversed exactly from where i have expected from uh, it's now in 42 pips of profit uh, USD CAD also has reversed and right now it's going in almost 44 pips of profit Euro USD also going in good profit it's running now in 58 pips of profit uh, <clears throat> USD GPY has been ranging on the entry point however currently it's on 10 pips of profit USD CHF has actually uh, went inside the safe zone however it <clears throat> It couldn't exceed the safe zone and it has went now below it and right now it's running in 80 pips of profit and gold is right now ha also has reversed exactly from the point I have mentioned to buy and right now is running in almost 115 pips of profit. All of the signals are going well and for that I'm, I'm very thankful and it's really important for me my friends to hear your feedback about my signals if you have taken it from the weekly analysis. But let's now move to the main subject of the video, which is how how the market is actually behave to the breakouts happening. So let me just explain to you something. Uh, what I'm about to explain to you actually works on all of the time frames, from one minute time frame to the one month time frame. Uh, from M1, sorry, that is my mistake. From M1 to 1M, meaning from one minute time frame to the monthly time frame. It running actually very well on all of these time frames because it is actually the way the market reacts the way the market moves it's not based on the time frame it's about how this market actually reacts to the levels so let's see together uh, I want to go to another to more clear example I think I have found one already on the I saw one to be honest uh, I don't know okay let me just pick randomly any any example um, I don't know I'm just gonna do it randomly i'm just running between the pairs and randomly okay aud gpy so let me just tell you something here when you see a breakout happens like that for example we are having right here the resistance level now it's very important to understand something here uh, when you see a resistance consists of long wick like that it indicates a strength in the level it means that this resistance is actually strong and you can consider it as a key support or key resistance for example looking at that support right here that support is not really strong because we can see that it consists of many candles uh, when you see many candles on any support or resistance that means that the market has made so many attempts to break out from that level it doesn't mean that this support or resistance is as strong or is as strong as this one right here so Looking at that chart right here in front of me uh, on the 30 minute time frame, we can see that this uh, support level, let me just make it clear for you, that support right here on that level of uh, 75.013 is very strong because we can see that the market has reacted very strongly to that level. The market has kept going down on a downtrend and once the market has just barely touched this support level, the market immediately has reversed and it changed from a bearish momentum to a bullish momentum that means this resistance right here uh, sorry this support right here is actually very strong um, let me just go to another example and show you for example that support right here exactly right, right, right here that is the support we can see that the market has changed actually the direction from being bearish actually not here it has changed from the whole bearish momentum like that 
once the market has touched the level 74.854 it has completely changed the direction and now it's a bullish momentum that's how we can tell actually if the uh, support is strong or not if we see only wicks at the top at, at the level of the support for example look at that support right here uh, if you want to compare to compare this support to this one or compare this one to this one which one you think is as actually stronger support level without a doubt the answer is this one or this one this one here is not strong enough because we can see that there was so many candles actually trying to break out from that level like that so we can see that the market has actually made so many, uh, several attempts to break out from that support level and immediately it has went through now there is something important we need to understand what is the point actually from all of this now okay Salah I got it we understand that if we see a support or resistance consists of long wicks like that or like that or like that this is a strong resistance because we can see it consists of one long uh, wick so okay we got the point but how we can use that in our trades actually I'm glad you asked actually uh, that is the level where you keep you, you want to keep trading uh, the support or resistance now let me delete the other line let me show you for example okay now remember I'm on the 30 minute time frame and I'm gonna keep this level of 74.8 um, yes 854 uh, I'm gonna keep the line here and let's move in the past and see how the market has reacted actually to that level check this out in the past 24th July uh, the same level 74.854 was still actually a strong support exactly as I mentioned and look at the reaction the market has kept going down in a very strong bearish momentum it barely made any pullbacks look at that barely we can see any pullbacks but finally when it has reached this level it has made the reversal and this uh, this trend is no longer a bearish trend and right now it's actually moving in a bullish momentum and also don't forget that it is also consists of a long tail let's move more than in, in the past check that out now by seeing this chart right here that is exactly the same level I have mentioned and look at that again we can see the reaction that the, this, uh, this level is very strong as a support now as I said how we can actually use that hmm remember we are looking for the strong support and resistance levels now let's track these candles one by one check that out every time we can actually see that there was a reversal before the breakout happens on that level look at that always there was a reversal happening at these levels everywhere you can see that if you have found if you have found any breakout candle you can actually trade uh, regardless if it's a bearish or a bullish breakout candle you can always trade when the previous support become a resistance or when the previous resistance becomes a support right on that level exactly right here when I have draw it in the in the future so look at that every time look at that we can see that here for example we had the bullish breakout candle and immediately this level has acted uh, has reacted very strong to that level of the support so the market has actually reversed and we can place the buy order right here uh, even later on in the past we can see that we can we could have placed sell order right here and even we can place the buy order right here uh, there was no really breakout from that level yet here we can see that this support level has kept its position as a support please pay attention we can we can see that there was no breakout candle from the support yet and even right here there is no bearish breakout candle from that support the only bearish breakout candle happened was this one right here and we can see that the previous support has become right here a previous resistance and here also it has skipped the level so let's move on L look notice something guys I am just relying on one line I have drawn on the 30 minute time frame on 74.854 uh, 74 
that support level is still holding its position even in the past it hold the position as a resistance now what is the point as i told you we want to find the strong support and resistance levels and that can be found by uh, looking for the long tails uh, the support or resistance long tails or long uh, weeks now there is something what i actually i have made this video because i wanted to explain this point right here what is gonna happen right after the breakout how we can actually react to that level okay let me show you something and i actually want you to try this at your home it's just try it by yourself to believe now let me just zoom in and show you hold on all right okay good so i need actually to open my paint so i can draw for you what i am actually planning to explain so let me just show you for example you are having right here a resistance that is of course my friends a resistance level and we had here a previous support so that's a support now what's gonna happen later that this previous support is gonna become the new resistance right so the market has reversed created a resistance number one and the market actually might go and make another attempt to create resistance number two everything is fine until now for example now what will can happen now we can see that this there is gonna happen a third attempt of the resistance but however the market actually might break out from that resistance now the big question is what should you do if you have placed a sell order right here now you have expected that the market might reverse on a resistance number three however you have failed and the market kept, kept going up actually and breaking out from that resistance now what's happened is that that resistance level is expected to become the new support but the question is where can i expect the market to reverse and actually i can recover from my losses now there are two scenarios either way um or one of them actually is the market is breaking out because of the weakness of the other currency for example let's say that this is the euro usd all right so if the usd for example is so weak and some uh, unexpected news happened then the breakout most likely is going to continue the rise until no mentioned point that is because the market is right now have uh, changed from technical analysis to fundamental analysis and right now it's moving based on the unexpected news of the weakness of the other currency now because of that the euro will gain strength and the usd will lose strength therefore the pair is gonna continue the move that is one of the uh, of the scenarios if there was unexpected news but that is actually not happening all the time so what's gonna happen actually let me show you how can i go back here i'm looking for the back button um am i not seeing it or something um okay it's there it is below the recorder border okay let me just er erase all of that okay let me just uh, do it again like that perfect so what i was talking about is i wanted to explain to you what is the next or the other scenario might happen when the breakout is happening based on technical analysis as you can see wait a minute what happened here all right so as you can see that resistance right here don't forget about it because what's going to happen next that the, is the market is going to continue the rise until it hit the same level of the nearest resistance to the previous resistance right here so again we are having this resistance which has been breaking out from and once the market actually make the break out from that resistance it's going to continue the rise until it actually hit that previous resistance right here now at that point what is going to happen is the market most likely in most cases is going to fall to retest the broken resistance and then it's going to continue the rise always my friends uh, always and forever that is how the market usually reacts to the levels based on technical view uh, let me show you that actually live uh, what for example we can see the here here my friends exactly we can see that we have here the strong resistance level that resistance has been actually breaking out from now exactly as i told you it's going to continue the rise 
until it had that resistance level right here this is guys exactly the, the, the example I have just explained to you on the paint we can see that here let me just delete that we can see that here we are having the resistance level and we are having right here the resistance right before it or right bef the, the, the resistance that was actually higher than the current one just like that as simple as that to make it simple for you it is going to continue the rise until it hit the resistance that was actually higher than the current one so the breakout happened right here from the uh, from this resistance the market kept rising up it hit the previous resistance and then the retest happened and what happened next is that the market has continued the rise however exactly what happened before it has now reversed at the next resistance to that resistance you understand the point let me move on and show you more examples um, let me just move on to the past and show you another examples any example actually uh, let me see here for example um, yes right here look at that we can see here that we had right here we had that resistance we have right here the resistance and now where is the resistance just higher than this one the previous resistance to this one exactly here that is the resistance just next to the current one which has been breaking out from and we can see that the market kept going up all the way until finally it hit that resistance and now it has reversed to retest the broken resistance that's gonna happen actually my friends almost all of the times that is actually one of the reasons I'm telling you do not close your trade in loss immediately you have to wait for the retest to occur and actually if you understand the behavior of the market it always might help you to reduce your losses for example we can see here also um, let me just uh, make it correct exactly like that exactly like that we can see that here we had the resistance level now for example you have placed your sell order right here you here you placed sell in hoping for an next reversal hoping for example this is a uh, resistance one and you are hoping for the market to reverse on resistance number two however you have failed and the trade now is going in loss don't worry because as you can see we're having right here a previous resistance so you can expect where the market is actually going to reverse so you can reduce the losses now hold on guys okay sorry about that my friends uh, let me see what I was saying let's move to another example and show you exactly what I'm talking about that it's always happening I want actually a more clear example let me zoom out and see what we can do uh, exactly right here as well we can see what happened is that the market has actually made the break out from the resistance right here and once the breakout happened we can mark that we have right here the resistance just next to it and we can see the market little bit exceeded however eventually it has reversed and went down to retest the broken uh, resistance and of course the same we can see for any support level let me find a strong support level and show you um, for example actually this is very important let me show you now here that is uh, that we can see here a support level has been broken out from but the market did not reverse as Salah is saying hmm really let's check it out together right here we can see that the support level has been broken out from right that is the support and where is the nearest support to that support as I'm telling you the previous support which is ha which have happened or, or sorry which has happened before that support is this one so we can expect from the market to reverse right here now imagine if you are live trading look at that check it out look at that please review the history we can see that here we have the support I'm talking about and look at that right here the market has actually reversed look at that long tail the market has reversed not only that it kept going all the way to hit the previous support amazing right but eventually that previous support has become the new resistance and it kept falling more down don't forget also that this support level has been broken out from as well it also we can see that this support level has been broken out from now what happened next now where is the support right before that support level it's exactly right here 
that is the support which has happened right before that support now we can look at the left we can see that immediately the market has reversed on that previous support level and it kept going all the way up until it retested the broken support level and that previous support has become right here the new resistance as you can see my friends uh, if you can just check the history and apply it yourself you can see that this is actually happening all of the time all of the time and if it didn't happen it means that the market has made the breakout actually because of uh, uh, because of uh, some news has affected the currency and actually some news have uh, moved the market if one of the currencies is very strong and the other one is so weak uh, we can expect from it to behave like that let me just try to find something right now so we can actually uh, enter a trade right to front of you if if i'm lucky enough uh, let's let me just move to the okay nice look at that look at that check it out i am on the 15 minute time frame on the pound cad hold on okay so let me just tell you that we can see here we have a previous support level that support has been broken out from and right now uh, where is the nearest support to that previous support level? This is the support. The nearest support to that support is right here. Now what is going to happen after the breakout, the market actually might reverse on that support level, retest the broken support and continue the fall. Therefore, what I'm going to do, and actually let me just reduce the lot size here because this is educational video anyway, and I'm going to place the buy order. Now let me show you what will going to happen. What I bet on is that the market is actually going to reverse break uh, sorry retest the broken support and then gonna continue the fall uh, remember i'm on the 15 minute time frame and i have entered this trade this trade only because i understand how the market actually behave to the breakouts levels so uh, allow me please to pause the video and i'll be back to you to show you what will gonna happen with this trade so the trade is still going on but uh, I, w I found something actually very interesting I wanted to share with you my friends is right here we can see right here my friends uh, even in the past we had right here that previous support level and once the market has actually made the breakout of it we can see that uh, we can see that uh, that this is the support right all right so this is the support and the support just next to it which is ha which happened before it the previous support is exactly right here so by saying that we can see right here that the market has went down all the way to hit that previous support exactly right here look at that the candle has reversed and if we check the history the candle reversed and it kept going up and retested the broken support and then it continue the fall now uh, on this trade I have entered right here I'm feeling safe because as you can see my friends um, let me just delete this and show you so we can see that we are having right here the previous support which I have placed my buy order uh, on it however let's assume that this trade is gonna go against me if and if I'm gonna lose this trade what can I expect or or how actually can I recover the losses that might occur uh, what we can do actually is looking at the left we can see right here we are having the next support or sorry the previous support not the not, not the next one i mean the previous one right before that support so if the breakout is gonna really happen right here and i'm gonna fail the trade the market is gonna continue the fall until it hit that previous support level and after that is gonna continue the rise retesting the broken support level uh, that's gonna be actually a good point to place another buy order and i can easily recover my losses now it's very important my friends to tell you this is not a strategy what i'm explaining to you right here is not a strategy it's just a way to explain to you how the market is actually behaving to the breakouts so when you are actually failing a trade what should you do ex what should you expect next sadly the new traders when they are when they are failing a trade they just get panicked and they are getting freaked out because they see the amount here is reducing and they are seeing the losses and they don't know what to do and they are just wondering what should i do what should i do where should i close it should i keep it now if you are losing the trade first of all calm down and second check the market check the news if there is any announcement or any news has happened that actually affects the currency if you didn't find anything then you should 
calm down even more and just re rely on the technical analysis look at the market where you can expect the next reversal to happen and try to fix your trade now I'm not telling you to open another trade what I'm telling you is you have to expect the market to reverse on that level so once you are in break even when, when the market is finishing the retest and you, you see yourself have reduced the losses or on a break even you can just close the trade and end it um, hopefully if you can in profit as well so anyway I just wanted to show you what will gonna happen with this trade and then I'm gonna end the video so let me please now pause the recording and I'll be back to you my friends later to show you what will gonna happen with this trade alright so I just wanted to explain to you what's happening right here uh, it is exactly what I said as we can see my friends that support right here has been broken out from by this bearish breakout candle what happened next the market kept moving down until it hit that support which I have mentioned before look at that the candle has reversed what is this the candle has reversed almost like that like that look at that we are having right here the support and right here as well so we can see that the market has reversed almost on that support level um, let me see how many pips is that that can be about six or seven pips uh, some people actually might set uh, a stop loss at that level okay maybe not seven pips maybe 17 or 27 pips but anyway some uh, scalpers they might actually set a stop loss right here where the market actually have reversed and you can see that the market uh, is now reversing and it's now being in profit we can say that right now the, the trade is in break even if we detect the commission and the profit as well so I'm gonna close it right now so it is actually similar to what I have said actually I was waiting for a better opportunity however what I told you has indeed happened so if we zoom in here if we study this candle by candle we can see that this is the support level that uh, uh, then and that one here is the bearish breakout candle and the market kept going down until it went to the previous support level and then reversed exactly as I told you and I encourage you all to try it by yourself uh, on demo account of course and then you can try it on the, re on the live account just be sure you understand very well how the market is be uh, reacting and behave to these levels so I'm sorry I know it has been uh, almost 30 minutes for this video I just wanted to be sure to explain every single aspect and giving you as many examples as I uh, uh, as I can so in the end I really hope that was informative to you and I would like to thank you for watching